Let us pray. We remember this day, O God, the slaughter of the holy innocents of Bethlehem by the order of King Herod. Receive, we beseech thee, into the arms of thy mercy all innocent victims, and by thy great might frustrate the designs of evil tyrants and establish thy rule of justice, love, and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Today we remember the Holy Innocents. This day, among other things, tells us something about the church, something about the kingdom of the world, and something about God. First, about the church. It is interesting that the church calendar does not allow us to stay in the joy of Christmas without acknowledging the world into which our Savior was born. It must have been very tempting just to allow uh, the people of God uh, not to have to confront things so quickly. And yet, of course, we've already this week celebrated the first Christian martyr, St. Stephen, and today, the Holy Innocents, those little boys who did nothing except be in the wrong place at the wrong time. The church simply insists that you and I together confront the real world that we live in. Second, Herod simply personifies tyrants throughout the ages. The kingdom of the world will not give up its grip without a fight. And we need to understand that as Christians, we are locked in spiritual warfare. As our collect said, do we really believe that it is possible to have justice, peace, and love reign supreme. The world has other ideas, and the world will not take our uh, advocating a different reality, as I say, without putting up a fight. And then finally, Holy Innocence really reminds us that God's love is such that God will stop at nothing to reclaim all of us and to bring us together under the Prince of Peace, to lift us out of the kingdom of the world and allow us to understand that God's will and God's power really are strong enough to make the world a different place. The thing is, God has chosen the likes of us to be the agents to make that change. Thanks be to God um, for giving us that opportunity, but Lord, please watch over all the innocent, all those who suffer and suffer needlessly. May we be strong and resolute in making love our only aim. Thanks.